Hey, this is a tutorial in, uh, in using print merge. Now to explain print merge is, so for example, you have a situation wherein you have to print tickets onto an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and you want, say for example, here the size is 4 by 3 and you want to have, let's say, 6 of these tickets in one uh, letter size paper. But well, the problem is, what if you want to number the tickets as, you know, like 1 to, say, 800. So you got 800 tickets. So how would you do that in Corel? Now, you call that option uh, print merge. So print merge is located in, in file. And then you click on print merge. I mean, mouse over print merge. And you create load merge field. And then there would be a wizard saying that, okay, you're going to use print merge. Now, what do you want to do? Choose how you would like to begin. Create a new text, import text from a file. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the first one, which is create new text. Click on next. Now, since I'm doing a numeric field, which is number, let's say ticket number 001 to ticket number 804 or 800, I'll make it 804. So what I'll do, I'll type it in here. Uh, I'll type it here, uh, ticket. Okay, this is just the numeric field. That's the ticket number, and I click on Add. Now it's numeric. That's why the type, the field type here is numeric. Okay, so you click on this. You're selecting this. Now you've got an option here to how would you format your numbering of your tickets. Let's say I'm going to go, let's say 001. So this would be uh, 001. So 00x is the one you're going to choose. Now it says you continually, in, uh, continu continually increment the number field. I would just uncheck that because I have an ending value. So here I'll start one. Okay, that's my first ticket number. And then I'll put there 804. And then I'll click on next. Now, if you notice here, it created 001, number 001 to 00, or sorry, 804, right? Cool, so we're good. And then click on next. And then now you have an option to save it. So that next time, if you want to bring this up again, uh, you can just you know get the saved file or the saved uh, preference but I don't want to save it so I'll just do it once so I'll just click on finish now when you click on finish you're going to have a floating toolbox which is this one and that's the print merge toolbox now what I'm going to do now I'm going to type in ticket number first so ticket number okay colon and then I'll move that over here. Okay, I'll make it white so that I can see it. I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay. Now I'll just move it somewhere there. Okay. Now in here, we're going to insert the print merge option. Okay, but before that, I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to go to the last, see, look at that, that's the last text, right? And I click on insert, there. Whenever you got that bracket there, that means to say dot, the number would show up in there, okay? And then I'll, I will go here, I'm gonna zoom out, and then click on print, okay? means to say you will perform the print merge. So I click on print and uh, okay I don't I don't have a printer set up in my laptop here but what I'll do I'll click on PDF okay so it's gonna create a PDF of the numbers. So I'll go to properties and I'll click on the paper which is uh, Click on advance here, less letter size, so I'm fine. And then click OK. Now, if I click on print preview, uh, okay, 
what would happen is that it created 804 pages but that's not what I wanted I wanted to fit uh, six tickets in one whole page so I'll go back to my options here okay Adobe PDF or that can also be your printer so I'll go to properties first okay I'll change it to uh, go to layout click on portrait okay now in here in layout if you click on layout what we're going to do is we're going to imp imposition layout we're going to make I'm just gonna bring this up so that you can see it uh, I will go three sorry two to three up which means to say I'm gonna have two I, I mean I'm gonna have two columns and then three rows so that will make it up to six and then click on apply and click on OK there now I have six tickets per sheet so that would be a drop down to 134 uh, pages of eight up by 11 or letter size now if I'm going to zoom in here if you notice ticket number one ticket number two ticket number three ticket number four and if I go to the last page which is this one let's take it 804 and zoom out see that's my last ticket so what you've done right now is that you created one file but with a print merge of 800 tickets so uh, that ends the tutorial and ju just click on file print and it would print to your printer or it would print to PDF and then in the PDF you can you can uh, print it later so that's it very powerful uh, very powerful feature in CorelDRAW